Ayo, hey, what's good guys? Another video here today. We got the one and only Henning Wenz. I think that's how you say this dude's name. Uh, another video here. Never heard of this person. Have no idea what to expect. Going in completely blind. But this should be fun. So let's get it. Over in Dictionary Corner, we have uh, Henning Vane. <laughs> I'm not going to do any jokes about German stereotypes because I've been asked not to and I'm just following orders. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you a fan of the show, Henning? Oh, very much so. What I like particularly about Countdown is the rules are very straightforward. Eh? If you have got the longest word, you win. <laughs> but in Scrabble, for example, they play a completely different game, innit? They always try to get, like, two letter words and they say, what does that word mean? Oh, I don't know, but it's in the Scrabble dictionary, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you don't know what it means, you shouldn't be getting the point. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's not wrong. <laughs> he makes a solid point there. I must say, he makes a solid point. And that is why I very, very much enjoy counting. <laughs> Straightforward nature of it all. You have got the longer word, you win. <laughs> Henning does have a disadvantage playing Countdown in his second language. Of course, maybe things would be different if his granddad had fought a bit harder. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> <I don't> even... <laughs> fuck's sake, Jimmy! <laughs> For fuck's sake, Jimmy. I like how this is supposed to be Henning's funniest moments, and so far it's just been funny moments from Jimmy insulting this guy. Any words that get you kind of irritate you? I get angry with the things that the words <laughs> represent. I find there's no point in getting angry with the words themselves. It's true. It's just shooting the messenger. <laughs> <laughs> I did get angry when they didn't allow forsaked. You didn't allow oh, it. Oh, I know. That was I tough. I thought you should have let me have that. It was tough. And I could just let you know right now tonight, Henning, if there is any trouble like that, I'm here to sort it out, don't yes, worry. Yes, well, <laughs> sort it out in my favour. I'm voting you, Kip, and you immediately after the show will be deported. That's <laughs> Nigel Farage's worst nightmare, a German in charge of the English dictionary, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> uh, Henning, I know you've been living in this country for a long time now, but I can detect a tiny bit of your German accent. Um, what bits of the English accent have you picked up? Well, what can I say, Jimmy, me old mucker? It's just... <laughs> <laughs> I always, I can always tell when I'm being insulted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's probably the biggest step forward. Like, I remember when I started out doing stand-up and then the compere would come on after and go, give Henning another round of applause, he's doing it in his second language. <laughs> I always took that as a face value compliment. Yeah. Mm. But now I understand it's a British way of saying, oh, I couldn't understand a bloody word. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get on with the game... Uh, you know, I like this guy. Off off the tops, I like this guy. Because he's rolling... Like, they've thrown a lot of disses at him, and he's rolling with the punches well. I respect that. I respect that. Off the top. Well, the, only, just... the only... If I could ask all players... <laughs> <laughs> don't bring the game into disrepute. <laughs> Try and play seriously. It's not about making a spectacle of yourself. <laughs> Getting the longest word and get to that number accurately and swiftly. Henning Vane is the most common answer given when British people are asked, name a famous German. No, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> and who are you referring to? Uh, he was Austrian. He was Austrian. Yeah. It's a very Nothing good point. Nothing to do with us. Nothing to do with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> okay. Henning did an exhaustive tour of Great Britain in 2015. In 2016, we voted to leave the EU. <laughs> Henning, have you got a mascot? Uh, yeah, I've got three, actually. For the day, I've got this is my mascot. <laughs> and I've got this one. And to be on the safe side, I've got this one as well. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. so well, you put the German one in the middle, but it should be on the far right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
Jimmy, do you have a do you have a mascot? Yeah, well, I'm not overly sentimental, but uh, yeah, I thought. Um... <laughs> 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 What, uh, what, what is it, honey? <laughs> uh, that's the closest you'll ever get to it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, back home, everyone's got one. How many have you got again? Uh, of them, three, and one of the predecessors, so four. Four World Cups, though, Bob. Mm. Four World Cups? Yeah. How many wars? <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a mascot? Hey. Like, alright, I like this dude seems like such a nice guy, I'm not gonna lie. But most of his funniest moments are just Jimmy's best insults to him. Or other people's best insults to him. It's not really like you get what I'm saying here. Of course we're not even halfway through, so how can I really say so far? But so far, it seems like his best moments are just him getting insulted. But he seems like a really nice dude. Like, genuinely. Out of everybody I've seen on Countdown, he seems to be the nicest, just jokes aside. I don't know why, but I get a very kind vibe from this guy. Uh, yes, I have uh, brought a family friend. Um, oh, jeez. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is my... Uh, no, some German comedy. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, my family friend, Uncle Monsters. And uh, he's a very learned man, and hopefully he can help us this evening. Uh, yeah, him. Uh, is oh, it, can, we, can, we, can we get playing? <laughs> is there more explanation as to why you brought on a weird inflatable cat that you're clearly having sex with? <laughs> well, what's, what's, what's surprising about this? It's an old family friend that does... I'm sorry, the response... <laughs> <laughs> he says, an old inflatable cat, you're obviously having sex. He goes, well, what's surprising about this? <laughs> I know that's not how he meant it, but for fuck's sake, that might have been the worst response he possibly could have had. <laughs> like, fuck it all. He doesn't have anywhere to stay and currently is uh, staying at mine. <laughs> if someone switches on the program halfway through, they'll be terrified that no one else can see it. <laughs> <laughs> is it a cat? It is whatever you want it to be. Stop. I want it to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I've done myself a favour bringing him here. <laughs> Henning, you got a mascot? See, the mascot Aww. is, I mean, it's all good and well having their, them, them cats there. Aww, that's cute. Not really a cat person, but aww. Cute. Yeah, but when he comes... Would have been better if it was puppies, though. Just saying comes down to it, they're not real. Matter of fact, let me know in the comments below, are you a dog person or a cat person? If if dogs are better, type 1. If cats are better, type 2. If if you're a fan of either one, like the video. Really helping you putting a word together, are they? When you say mental arithmetic, I don't know how good they're at it. Uh, <laughs> essentially, I have to rely entirely on myself, and uh, that's why I've got this as a mascot. <laughs> Of myself because when it comes down to it, I'm the only one who can save myself here. <laughs> there you go. Check in with uh, Henning. Henning, what could they have had there? They could have had more. They could have had eight. You yeah, know, atomizer. That would have been eight letters. Uh, I think and this... then this word, I don't even wouldn't know how to pronounce it or what oh, it means. That's just all the letters in the selection. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's funny. Genius <laughs> in the eighties. Um, I I started school when I was two. Yeah, you started school what? when you were two. Yeah, um, I was really really annoying, so my mum just got rid of me as quickly as she could. How old were you in the eighties? I was born in eighty six. And you started school in eighty eight. Eighty nine. Well, that's three. That's basic math. <laughs> 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 You've lived in Britain a long time now. What's the weirdest English word you've come across? It's quite a few, actually. And, uh, quite misleading, I think, is the word haberdashery. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> How is that misleading? <laughs> what the fuck? I've never heard that word in my life. Haberdashery? What's that mean? My phone's dead, otherwise I'd look it up. Let me know in the comments, what does that mean? And how do you spell that? 
By the sound of the word, you would expect them selling something really, really substantial. You would go, oh, I go down the haberdashery and buy a ton of heavy machinery. Or something. <laughs> and otherwise, all you get is bits and bobs. So. <laughs> then my favourite word probably is gubbins. <laughs> and then I really like Herbert. <laughs> I don't know what any of these words really are. like that, so, oh yeah, well, right old Herbert. Uh, <laughs> Penny, uh, it says here you don't like uh, overhearing other people's mobile phone conversations. Is that true? Yeah, really annoys me. Happiest I've been in ages was when I had a massive ear infection. <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks of essentially hearing nothing. I mean, you have to be very careful when you cross the road. You know, recently I was on the train, there was some scouser on the train. I'm not going to do the accent. Go on. Fuck the busies. I think that's all you need, isn't it? So, uh... Consonant, please. Thanks, Oh, hang on. Jimmy, I've uh, written a few countdown-related poems for this evening, and uh, before we all get going, I would like to read you one of my poems, please. Yes? Do we have <laughs> any <laughs> option on this? <laughs> uh, incredible highs, incredible lows. It's a roller coaster ride. Strap in for some countdown in. <laughs> I like how me. Wait, no, 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 no. Reload that. Me and Sean had the exact same reaction. Hold up. Like, nah. Wait. On a coaster ride. Look at that. Strap in for some countdown in. <laughs> <laughs> me and Sean had the exact same reaction. That's great. That's wonderful. Enjoy the games. Okay. Five small ones. Good idea. May I, before we get to it, can I read <laughs> <laughs> one more of my lovely countdown poems, please? Uh, yeah. Numbers and letters, words and figures. Give yourself a blood clot, win the holy teapot. <laughs> Will you just clap anything? <laughs> <laughs> Sean called them out. I love that. Sean really called them the fuck out. I love that. Fuck yes. Okay, time for our final letters game. John, your turn to choose. Oh, before that, I've just written one more poem. <laughs> I didn't expect them to go down as well as they have done. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't write enough, uh, but now seeing how appreciative you all are, uh, <laughs> I'll let one more out. Uh, <laughs> almost done. We've had our fun. It's a shame, but no crime. I run out of rhyme. <laughs> Me and Sean again with the same reaction. <laughs> That's great. That was beautiful. <laughs> okay, Sean? Six. Victoria, mm. I'll ask again. I thought that was a nine, but then I needed two eyes to do it. You have got four eyes, mate. <laughs> 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 okay, that was fun. That was definitely fun. Uh, I never heard of this guy before. Honestly, I feel like most of this was just him getting insulted. He had a couple. He had a couple good jabs though. But overall, he seems like someone who's just too nice to insult people that much. I'm not gonna lie. But ayo, I hope you guys had fun. I know I did. Give me a fat ass like comment subscribe ring the bell all that fun stuff let me know what else from him you'd like me to react to if anything and i'm out bye <laughs>